So I told you, um, you were on the show with us in Bangor at the Gracie uh, a few years back. And probably a year after that, I was watching with my kids the movie Garfield for probably at least the, the 20th time. Uh, I think somebody, one of my kids might have had a slight crush on Breckenmeyer, but that's a different story. Um, midway through the movie, it strikes me, the, the, the bad guy is you. Not, not some version of, like, it was you. You were in the movie, and it took me a good 20 times to realize that, which I think speaks to my own intelligent level, intelligence level. But it also struck me that it was sort of a reuniting of sorts with you and Bill Murray uh, as the voice of Garfield, and you two were in Groundhog Day. Um, so first of all, I apologize for not recognizing you in Garfield. I, you know, there's certain movies people recognize me for. Probably number one is Groundhog Day, and people come up to me, in the old days in grocery stores that go, bing, has anyone ever said that to you? And I go, yeah, only three people today. Uh, <laughs> but high, high up on that list is Garfield. Uh, a lot of parents with their kids come up to me, oh, you're Happy Chapman from Garfield. And uh, that was an odd, odd, odd situation. <laughs> I got a phone call from my agent and they said, what are you doing today? And I said, I guess waiting for your phone call. And they said, can you audition for a movie today? I go, a movie today? Like when? Like in two hours. And I, I go, audition for a movie in two hours? Yeah, it's the movie Garfield. Uh, something happened and you would start shooting tomorrow if you get the part. <laughs> and I go, what? I haven't read the script. They said, just learn the lines, learn the lines as much as you can. Uh, this is a last second thing. Just hurry, just learn the lines and get over to, you know, you know get over to, over Warner Brothers is where we auditioned. So I, I went over there, did not know my lines, didn't know anything after two hours, ran over there and said, what's going on? And what happened was the fellow who was Happy Chapman was a friend of the producer and right before he started shooting, he said, I'm not doing it. I, I got another job and, and I don't feel comfortable doing this part. And I was, I want to do my project over here and dropped out of the movie the day before they were supposed to start shooting. Wow. So they went trolling, they cast bread upon the waters and they called in five actors that they could get a hold of to come in. All five of us lined up and one by one, we went into a room to read the Happy Chapman stuff without knowing what we were doing. None of us knew what we were doing. And I got the part. And they <laughs> said, well, you have to. Get, so they called me that afternoon and they said, you have to immediately go into hair and makeup because we're going to start shooting you tomorrow morning. And I go, is there a script? I mean, what is going on? What are you shooting at me? <laughs> They said, well, the first thing we have to do is we're going to shoot your, the scene with you talking to your brother and you have a wig. So we have to have a wig fitting. So in Garfield, the movie, the scene with me as the brother with the wig on, I have hair as Warner or whatever, whatever my name was as the, I guess I was playing your role. I was the television personality yeah, yeah. Uh, on that uh, with the wig. We shot that the day after I had my first audition with a wig that did not fit my head. So <laughs> they were in such a hurry. If you go back and watch that scene, the back part of the wig doesn't even go over my head. They just shot it with the front part of the wig here. And they said, no one's going to see the fact that your bald head is sticking out under the wig. <laughs> so I was absolutely amazed. And of course, Jennifer Love Hewitt, great, great. Mm. Breck and Meyer, great. And I had so much to do with them on the show. I didn't even see Bill because he came in two months after we finished principal shooting to do the voice of Garfield. So I didn't even see him, but he sent me a little note. And he, he sent me a little handwritten note saying, I'm so sorry I missed you on this. It would have been nice to you know, bump heads together on this. <laughs> but I remember <laughs> one scene at the end of the movie where all the animals or whatever revolt and, and, and do all, if you recall, in the warehouse, 
Yeah, they, uh, they attack you, I think, right? They all attack me. Everybody yeah. attacks me. And so the producers say like, are you afraid of rats? And, and I said, no, actually, I have three pet rats and I'm wonderful, wonderful. Great, great. Could you just stand, could you just stand up against those shelves over there? Uh, sure, sure, no problem. And then the uh, animal trainer came and smeared peanut butter in my ears. And, and I go, what, 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 what's going on, guys? And then they release rats. <laughs> the rats came and started eating my ears. I'm like, <laughs> it was like, if I had a good show business attorney, I'm sure there would have been a lawsuit. I mean, the, the but I, uh, the, the movie was enormously popular. Everybody loved Garfield and it turned out really well. I, I had worked with Jennifer or with Brecken before on television shows, uh, various television shows, and I was going to work with Brecken and Jennifer afterwards on other shows, but those didn't work out. But I remember so much the good feelings on the set and how hastily everything was put together to, to get it done. Y you know, that happens sometimes with um, with Disney and with kind of movies, family entertainment movies aimed at children in that they get a slot in which they could release the film. Mm. Like a really great slot where kids are out of school and everyone's gonna be able to go see it or a weekend, uh, holiday weekend. And that slot is more important than anything. So the movie has to be finished for that slot. And so they just start. But yeah, Garfield was, was ridiculous and hilarious and people do recognize me for that 